you know i believe that uh, practices have to be around the employees and if i look at employee experience what is it it's basically looking at the uh, feelings the emotions and the perceptions which you create in each of the interactions which you have with an employee and what the employee goes through in those interactions if you have to capture them and uh, you know mold your experiences towards a positive uh, environment it's you have to look at first of all what is it they bring so just like i know i was talking about uh, market segmentation you go to the customer you don't go with the product which you have you go with the product which the customer wants uh, so it is necessary for hr professionals and leadership to look at user experience as one of the basic criteria to develop the employee practices so if you have to build up those priorities it will come basically from understanding the user just like you are understanding the market and consumers of consumers so once you start understanding the user then you create those experiences so how are you able to create the experience of an actual interview sitting at home and creating those touch points which actually means a lot which are the moments that matter for an employee so the practices have to be evolved in such a way that you understand the user first which is the human being employee at this point of time and then develop your systems to suit those needs be it in hiring be it in training be it in development be it in any of the various parts of the life cycle of a hr now you know um, that's what i keep saying that when you're building your priorities build the priorities in such a way that you're not only attracting people but you're creating those experiences to retain people through those experiences similarly when you're building the practice you need to ensure you will be clear that you will not be able to engage them you will have to provide a support to them instill the confidence and support to them in what they do in the organization which automatically converts to a good experience which converts into engagement so you just going and saying that i'll do engagement survey i will go and give him better coffee i'll give him a better seat that won't help those are hygiene factors so how do you ensure that you are instilling the support and providing them the support for them to perform their duties and similarly you cannot just train them you know the gone are the days when you have a training needs analysis done on a generic basis and then you do a training program for each one of them now it's necessary for you to encourage them to learn so you provide opportunities for them to develop and when they are developing they have say for example i am i am a associate in a company i want to become a manager so provide the opportunity say what are the various ways you can become a manager what are the competencies and skill sets required for a manager and you provide various programs which they can sign on to and they get developed themselves that is where you engage them to learn and then once they learn it and they say okay i am ready for the next role provide that opportunity so if you are able to do that that is the employee experience how you build the priorities in employee experience on managing in the entire mapping of the employee's growth in the organization look um, i i when i was first called for this i went through what was described as a program it was very interesting uh, it was very contemporary and what was required in the day look many i have been seeing conferences in hr saying hr becoming a business partner looking at how hr can play a role in the board which is not unnecessary and that remains same because people are insecure about being in the board but when i saw this this is the need of the hr when you are uh, with the globalization and the dispersed workforce in different locations in the way things are different multi generation you need to have a way of reaching out to them and interacting with them and that is where employee experiences combined with ai the augmented intelligence make the best way of taking things forward in the contemporary organization so very interesting topic and i think it's a very useful topic at this stage of life of evolution of the businesses both overseas and in india and that's what attracted to me and the passion with which the organizers were able to bring this group together that is what attracted me